Hey, welcome to Session with Us. My name is Chris, and today we're reviewing Seven Wings. Hey guys, we've got something real special for you today. A new flavor by Al Fucker Special Edition. As you can see, it's called Seven Wings. <laughs> so, uh, there's our new tin. You got the triangle shape, switching it up, trying some new stuff. Okay, and uh, it actually looks like there's gonna be more than there actually is. But as you can see, there's a smaller container inside the container. Looks like this. Uh, here we go. So, yeah. Nice little cut. Nicely colored. They got the orange, uh, sorry, <laughs> red dye. It's pretty thick. I keep my shisha in the fridge, so it's kind of cold right now, but I find it works really good to preserve it. Anyways, looks great. Not too many stems. You got a smaller cut, smaller leaves. Let's give it a try. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another episode of Sesh with us. My name's Khalil. I've got my boys here with me. Chris, Liz, <laughs> DJ, aka Hasnan. What up? And Gilbert. Hey, what's up? Today we're doing a review on Seven Wings. It's a new flavor by Al Fucker, special edition. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a go. Let's get everybody's opinion. <laughs> Let's get everyone's opinion. Everybody's got the coals lit up. Yeah, we're good we're to go. go. Puffs away. Puffs away. Oh. All right. First of all, right. hint of cinnamon. It's weird. Yeah, hey. A little bit of hint of cinnamon, yeah. <laughs> cinnamon. Cinnamon in. Cinnamon in. Cinnamon in. Cinnamon in. I got the first. It tastes like Lysol. No. Lysol? What do you know what Lysol, Lysol? tastes like? <laughs> Today's episode of Session Us, we're smoking yeah. Lysol. No. Hold on, yo. <laughs> Cut that. <laughs> Not by salt. We're gonna away. smoke a lot of shisha tonight. It's going down. All right, so we'll Already? start. We'll start from you, Cleo. What, what What do the first few puffs taste like? All I'm gonna say is all all I can taste is grapes. <clears throat> Not the white one. I haven't I haven't tasted grapes yet. Like really? Legit, mm -hmm. Like this is. Okay. Take it, Take the grapes away. The artificial flavoring of grapes. It's grape crush. Great crush. That's what it tastes like to you. Yeah. Great crush. Great crush. But with a spice. Yeah. I can't really it's describe like it yet. Crush, I mean, it's like a syrupy. Like this. It's it's it's, it's minty. Flavor. It's, got it's minty. Flavor. It's, it's minty grape. It, it's it's. I got that minty freshness going on in my mouth right now. <laughs> Spicy purple grape crush. It is what it is. How about you, DJ? I'm still trying to figure it out. Like it's got the, you know, the crush, like the purple, but it's grape crush. Yeah. But not quite exactly that. It's, it's some something else is in there. Like something is there that's making it setting it off a little. Like, I'm gonna say nutmeg. Eggnog. <laughs> Eggnog. Happy holidays. Yeah, it's that time of the year. But it's something there, you know. Can't quite figure it out yet. A few, more puffs. A few more puffs, we'll get into it. Don't worry. I wonder what would happen if you put some liquor in the base and you got hot and you got drunk off the... I think you can do that. Can you do that? I heard you can do that, but I think it has to be compressed. <laughs> don't you offer that at your place? Of, uh, it's all good, it's all good. We don't offer it. It's like, the fuck are you talking about now? <laughs> Essentially, you get drunk off the pages, right? You get like vodka in there or something. So smoke-wise, it's good. Taste-wise, I like it so far. Good, refreshing, but still trying to figure out. What I don't see what you're talking about, man. No, I don't taste anything. I'd like to throw in mint I, with yeah, it. I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, be good with mint. <coughs> like a traditional white grape mint. That's the last up. review with white wine. Purple grape mint. Purple grape mint. I'm getting that. No. It's definitely the grape, but it's even a really cool, refreshed taste. Probably because there's ice in the base. Looks like. It's cool because of the ice. Give me the spiciness. So yeah. does, does the a adding ice in the base makes a difference then? To any shisha flavor? Yeah, it'll cool down your pipe. 
Uh, not by much. Like mine's really cold because of the ice dip. I don't know if your guys is. But it's cold as ice. <laughs> <laughs> it's not bad. Like actually, like ice. Putting ice in the bottom it just gives it that little refresh. Like yeah. not mint refresh, but like that refresh feeling to it. Like it tastes a bit cold. Like you know how you would drink any drink. It tastes weird when it's not cold, but like if you drink it cold, it's not it's really, like super super cold though. Yeah. But it's not ever gonna be warm. Right, right. Yeah. Okay. So, so I guess what I meant it. by the cool refreshment, it's just probably a little bit of the spice in the shisha itself. I'm tasting the grape. Cinnamon, nutmeg, grape. You get the grape yet? In the grape. Well, it's, it's got the grape, but it's got something else too. Like just not grape by itself. Because then it'll be like white, you know, like plain flavor. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I said the spice, but like again, it didn't come down. How do, you, how, do you, how do you think they come up with stuff like this? Like, who sits in the back and just like, wait, <laughs> get some spices? <laughs> like, send it out, ship it. Spice, everything nice. Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls. I'm gonna say though, El Pacer is really stepping up the game. Oh yeah, because he has all the typical normal flavors everyone's tried on. Everyone knows what they're like. So they're trying new things. Spearmint. Spearmint. Bubblegum. A bit of a spearmint. I think it's like a bit Bubble of gum. Grape gum. Grape, grape ah. gum. Holy <laughs> 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 We got it! Crack the code! We got it! Crack that code! We got it! Grape and gum! You ever chewed spearmint gum? It's like grape, grape Hama gum. Baba. Baba. Spearmint. No. Not I'm getting into it now. What the fuck you just talking Juicy about? fruit that is gonna shit. move, yeah. <laughs> spearmint. Haba baba. No, okay. My take on shisha is all the shisha smokes the same. That's great. No, it no. depends what coal you're using and how you make it. For, no, first, what you gotta realize, first of all, shisha is not meant to be for smoke. It's never about the smoke, like how big of a cloud you get, anything like that. It's more of to enjoy the flavor. Sit there, relax, enjoy the flavor. That's the whole point of the shisha. I care about yeah. the clouds. So, like the clouds, they don't matter. Like you can have big ass clouds or no clouds at all, like getting mini clouds or whatever, but like as long as it tastes what you're supposed to taste so you can enjoy it and relax. I concur. Yeah, so cloud-wise, we're getting clouds because we made it good and we, you know, the way you set up the hookah, like you get good clouds, but taste wise, it's very good. Like, I like you it. Get, you get more sweet, sweet taste to it, more grape, more bubble gum, it's there. Yeah. It's good? Yes, you yeah. think bubble gum? Guess what I think? Yeah, it's bubble gum. Yeah. Yeah, now that I think about it, yeah. Great bubble gum. Favorite bubble gum. Great bubble, great bubble, bubble gum, yeah. But it's nice though. Okay, like, that makes sense. Yeah. You can mix the regular white. Can you make the white grape and bubble gum? I'm just, I guess I'm just mistaking the spearmint for the spice. Huh? I'm just mistaking the minty flavor for the spice, I guess. Because it's got some bite. It does. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Basically, we wrapped it up. It is what it is, bro. So basically... <laughs> so we got a purple bubblegum grape flavored spicy soda. Special edition. <laughs> Seven wings. We do recommend it. Try it out. And if uh, you smoked bu uh, bubble gum by itself before, and if you smoked white grape before, you will definitely like it. It's a mix of two. We're not exactly just bubble gum by itself. We're not exactly white grape by itself, but like it's good. We recommend it. Clear. What do you think of the score, or how, what would you give it? I really like this flavor. Uh, out of the whole scheme of things, I give it a nine. Nine. Yeah, it's top ten. That's top ten. <laughs> it fit in the top, top ten, ten flavors. Yeah, for sure. You were on an island, you take this flavor. That's it. And two coals. Because <clears throat> I smoke a lot of shisha at work. <clears throat> um, and I have the same flavors all the time, so I get sick of stuff. So I always gotta try new things. And I can't see myself getting sick of this. Oh, nice. Chris, what do you think? Um, I'll give it an eight out of ten. Um, yes. Pretty enjoyable flavor. Um, it smells like grape. This is the new tank on grape. I think it looks like grape bubble gum. So I enjoy it. That's good. 
Chris, what about you? Um, well, I haven't really smoked great before. I don't believe I have. That was the first time trying something like this. Um, I wouldn't recommend to start, like if you were just starting smoking shisha, I wouldn't recommend it as your first, but I like it. Um, seven out of 10. Seven out of 10. I like it. I like the strength of it. It is a strong flavor. I got. I think you all agree. Yes, it's a strong pretty strong flavor. flavor. Um, but um, as of the last uh, review that we did on the fun time, um, I rather I enjoyed that one more than this. But still, this is a good flavor. Uh, me for me, it's sweet. It's good. I like it. I can enjoy it. Like this would be something you know. You, you could smoke like three, four bowls and you wouldn't get tired of it. So I'd give it a 8.5, you know. It's, it's definitely top top 10 flavors for me, but it's not quite the top five, you know, but you would still smoke it. You would still enjoy it, you would still love it. Everybody would enjoy it. Somebody's smoking it first time, or you know, if you smoked a lot of shisha from before, it'd be a perfect shisha. You think so? Yeah, I, I think so, I don't know. I mean... As a first time trying a great flavor, in my opinion, I just, I think it'd be, like try other, other flavors first, and then, uh, you know. So you say that try white grape by itself first? Or if you smoke bubblegum by yeah, itself first? Yeah, try something simple first, because you don't want to start off with a shisha that's really strong at first, in my opinion. I mean, I wouldn't. I mean, I started off when I smoked shisha, I'd start off with white grape mint. I'd start off smooth, and work my way up to you try white stronger grape? flavors. <laughs> so. yeah. What? Yeah? <laughs> what, what? Yeah, no, so we're good. So, <laughs> so we're good. Yeah, all together, it's great for... Oh, okay, white grape, right? Yeah, well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> like, now we get to nail. But anyways, <laughs> check us out. So, there you guys have it. Uh, there's our review on special edition Al Fakhar Seven Wings. Not six wings, not eight wings, not five. But seven. <laughs> Seven wings. Seven wings. Seven. Lucky number seven wings. Like this video, subscribe to us, follow us on Instagram, Sesh with us. Thank you for joining. My name is Asnan, this is Chris, this is Chris, and that's Khalil, and we're out.